guys, I'm back. I have the second part of my Tuesday morning haul, which I promised to bring you guys, which is my oh, large paper haul and some project life. So I've got me a glass of wine here. Go ahead and get your favorite beverage, coffee, whatever. If you're trying to go to sleep, this is perfect. If you're wanting to know um, what Tuesday morning still has on its shelf that might be you know, relatively new or not, I am here to show you. Um, my Tuesday morning did not get a truck in that, a uh, new truck in yet. So these may be things you have already seen and have not picked up or maybe a few things that you just haven't seen at your stores. Or you're like me and craving anything Tuesday morning because they've been down <laughs> with the whole COVID thing. So I wanted to dig in. The first thing on the top is not paper. It's the only thing I'm going to show you that isn't paper though. But I wanted to keep it with this. It is the stamp set. And it is $3.99. Previously a long time ago, because everything feels like a long time ago that was before the COVID, um, I had picked up some dies. I don't know if they exactly match this, but it is this exact um, Marvel Spider-Man theme company, whole nine yards. Um, I don't think they're the coordinating dies is what I guess I should say to this, but it will complement this. And I just thought they were cute. So just to give you a small idea of the size of the stamps, I will show them to you. They got some cute spider webs, which you can always use for Halloween besides a boy's layout and any girls that are into Marvel. Uh, it's not a good way to show it really. By the way, this will be a long video just as an FYI. I don't tend to do short videos. <laughs> yeah, so this is fun. This looks like a job for the ultimate Spider-Man. There's that spider web. So they are slightly smaller than I thought they were going to be, but it did say A6 size stamp. Um, so yeah, they're pretty true to picture, I would say. And they're not all that's here. So this shows Spider-Man, three Spider-Mans, and you don't get those on here. Like a lot of this you don't get. So you have two spider webs but they're not the spider webs that are in the picture, which is really disappointing because I liked these. Well, maybe this one's a miniature one of this. You do get the spider, which is here. These tiny spiders are not on here. You just get two small spiders. They don't look like, like they're different. Maybe this, oh, here's the web that's here. So there's a third web on here then that is not in the picture. I don't see this. Um, the zap is not on here. This is the one that says, yeah, that's this. It's, it's completely different than this, but I like this stamp better. Um, I don't see the zap, but there's other things. Meanwhile, this is a cute stamp. Um, this spider is interesting. You could put like itty bitty googly eyes on it, I guess. There's a speech bubble. This is cool. Um, so I'm slightly disappointed that it's not what's on the packaging because I kind of wanted some of these Spider-Men. Yeah, I do like this one, even though I think it's slightly different than this. The spider webs were what I was going for along with the, the Spider-Man stuff. I'm sad that this one's not on here. So overall, it's really cute, but it's not as advertised. I don't know why it's different. Maybe mine got packaged wrong. Maybe that's why it's at Tuesday morning in the first place. But yeah, so um, still a fun stamp set, but a little sad that it's not as advertised. I did get this to go with it. Um, this is an A5 scene building paper pad. I thought I bought one of these in the past, but I can't find it anywhere. So I picked up the Spider-Man one and I picked up the Cars one. Um, so I will show you. 
it has Spider-Man on here. These are not punch outs. They're not stickers. You will have to fussy cut them out. Um, it's made out of fairly thick cardstock, I would say. Here's some more shapes or poses, I should say. I kind of wish they would punch out. And then here are the scenes. And they have, um, they're smooth. I wouldn't say they're glossy. If you go like this, they do have a kind of gloss to them, but they look matte looking down on them, which I like. I don't like it super glossy. You get more of the poses. If I don't hold this upright, I think everything's going to like detach itself from this paper pad. This is cool if you have any teenagers, this will go well, especially if they like to game or if they're into Marvel or anything like that, or even adults, you know, if you're into Marvel. It's starting to repeat itself. So it repeats itself, I think, quite a bit. I think it's so that you can do cards. So it repeats itself three times. Eight designs, four of each, it says. Okay, I was wrong. 32 sheets. So yeah, so it's a nice little paper pad. I won't be needing all the doubles. So I'll be sharing this um, in some happy mail, which is awesome. We always need boy papers. So if I was going to do a 12 by 12 layout, I would probably just like layer this up with some photos, like put one of these on there, maybe do some mixed media in the background to look really cool. Or one of those papers that like say bam and stuff all over it. And then like layer one of these up like, you know, kind of put your picture here or, or layer it off, offset would go well, I think. That's what I'm planning on doing. If it doesn't work out, guess what? There's four designs of each, guys. <laughs> we will be able to figure it out. This one was $3.99 as well. Also why I got it, price point was right on. One reason why I'm super happy Tuesday morning is back open. So if you have a little tyke, so I think this one is directional. See, there's plenty of space. Let's see here. Do I have a picture? Just to give you an idea of what I'm saying. Okay, so this is a Halloween picture. It has nothing to do with cars, but it is of my son. So this is how this fits on here. So that's not bad. If you have your kid and he's just playing, because, you know, I'm thinking of things because we're home with the whole COVID, just playing around in his room with his toy cars or whatever, that would be a cute background. That's my son at Target during Halloween time. He was not happy because I told him we weren't getting <laughs> the little witch hat. He was scowling at me. He had become attached. These are pretty thick. They're really good cardstock. Really good cardstock. So these are really cute. Oh, there's Meter. I don't think these would be super hard to fussy cut out. I'm not a big person wanting to fussy cut. Um, but I think that's because I most times I'm trying to fussy cut stuff that's too intricate. Like super intricate or something. And then I was just like, ah. Oh. So those look pretty easy. Then I got this six by six um, bundle. It's 24 pieces, authentic. And it looks like it's like um, a 4th of July type paper pad, which I am a sucker for. So I went ahead and got this one. There's the B side. This is super cute. The cutouts. Oh, look at the little grill. Old fashioned barbecue. Oh, music notes. That's a very vanilla background, not white at all. You have stars. They're kind of like, you see, there's a design in them. Then here's stars without a design in them. Stripes. And the stripes are polka dot and then lines and solids. Here's the next page. Ooh, I really like that one. Oh, this one's fun. This would be good to layer some fireworks. 
polka dots, and then polka dots. So it's repeating again without, it looks like without the, oh no, it's different now. And we're now, we're the other direction. Some different cut of parts. Oh my gosh, aren't those girls super fun? I love it. So cute. Look at the boots. And then this one's going this way. I like this paper pad, our sheet. And then those stars again. I don't know if we're gonna get, oh, another cut apart. This package is slightly interesting. Oh, another cut apart. Um, so are we gonna get three of everything? Maybe? Nope, not three of everything, but close to it. So you get multiples. So that's nice for layering and so forth. Okay, I like that a lot, $2.99. I don't know if they do the skew thing anymore at all. You know, everything's changed lately. But I'll show them to you just in case. So by Simple Stories, I got a six by eight paper pad, Little Princess. I thought this was cute. Dream Wishes Believe. Woo! This is cute. And look at those swans. Different colored floral patterns. All my paper pads want to come apart as I go through them. Naughty paper pads. <laughs> Flowers. And then this one says, Believe in Happily Ever After. You could so fussy cut this out if you wanted to. See, this is what I'm talking about where I get into intricate stuff. <laughs> Flowers. Little Princess Frogs. I love this stripe. This scene is cute. Oh, I like this one. Let me show you. Cute, right? Oh. Did I say that was my first glass of wine? <laughs> I'm just teasing. This is very pretty. I really like this one. I mean, it has nothing to do with the paper pad that I like it. Ooh, this is pretty. This is what that saying was on, on the front. This... Look at the little princesses. So cute. Adorable. Polka dots. Drink big, laugh often. Twirl and dance, smile, believe in fairy tales. So cute. Oh, look at this. How cute is that, guys? Right? Here is a cut apart. Happy birthday, princess. Hope your day is magical. One of a kind. May all your wishes come true. This pattern is repeating. Another cut apart. Always believing your dreams. Happy birthday. You are simply charming. Every day you shine, but today you rule. <laughs> it reminds me of my niece. I said something about, well, aren't you a little princess or whatever? And she's like, no, auntie. I'm a queen. I'm like, oh, excuse me, baby. <laughs> By the way, she's three. <laughs> This is cute. It looks like gems. Dream, wishes, believe. Okay, so now it's repeating. Yep, even the cut aparts. So that's nice. So cute. Her pictures are the ones that are going on here, <laughs> if you can't tell. Alrighty. Now we will start with my 12 by 12 paper pads. So these were $3.99. So this is by Kay and Company, which I, is a brand I like. They're double-sided specialty papers, it says. So this paper pad, um, it says it has three embossed, four foiled, one acetate, two vellum, and 12 flat papers. There are 22 sheets in the whole paper pad. I absolutely adore this, so I dig it too, and they are only $3.99. So move one aside. And I will show you this gorgeous paper pad. I'm going to, yeah, I think I can do it like this. It says, Our Travels. And then, I don't know why, but it reminds me kind of like a patchwork. And I love it. Hopefully it's all in frame. Hopefully we stay in frame that way. The back side is just white. Okay. 
and this is kind of um, a, a textured cardstock, but I like it. So this is cool. Okay, so these planes are like embossed. They're popped up slightly. You can feel them. And I love this. So it's like planes on top of a map. Like the background is like a map kind of. And the planes are lighter maps, which don't coordinate with the background. So it's kind of like a mixed up, which is awesome. You get two of those. On the back side, you have this, you can see the the deboss so you could use it this way as well if you wanted to it's just the deboss side of that same pattern you get two of those and then look at this gorgeous page isn't that so pretty so the plane hat is um shiny and so is the trim and then the world map is like flat isn't it cool you see the shine yeah, you can see the shine. So I really like that. Two of those. The back side is this red pattern. Then I thought this was cool. And I was surprised you got two of these, which was awesome. So it says World Travels, and this is vellum. But it's kind of like parchment paper because it has almost like a, a coating on it. But I really like it. And you get two of them. Then this next page is shiny it's got some kind of a coating on it but it's like um kind of like it's embossed it feels like stamps um like a at first I thought it was a sticker sheet because it feels like how a sticker sheet feels like to peel stickers up but they don't peel up which would have been cool like so cool but it's also cool as a paper pad so yeah, I love it. You can fuss and cut these out, whatever you wanted, because there are two of them. On the back side of that, you get this um, pretty page. And it's got these stamps at the bottom of these animals, which is cool. So you get two of those, so good luck. If your one side is more your favorite, you get to have two of them. Now this page is super shiny. This is your acetate page. Look at this, guys. Look at those trunks. Aren't they so cool? And it's thick, so no worries there. And let me see if I can show you, but even the clear part up top, there you go. See, it's a map. Isn't that cool? I thought it was so cool. And you could even layer it like with the paper that's behind it. it looks great together but if you chose not to it is awesome by itself I know there's a bunch of glare from my lights sorry about that you do seem to only get one of those this paper all on its own is pretty though see it's got some cool stuff up here with this ship and then you get two of those on the back side this is your back side This is cool on the back side of that when you get this. If you like paper piece, some luggage pieces to get, like you cut this up and made your own luggage pieces ephemera, this would be cool. These two papers would be worked well for that. Oh, even this one, this is pretty. On the back side of that is a green set of compasses. I think I might like them better than the other one. Then we have a train. This paper pad is all about travel, if you can't tell, which is something we can document about things we used to do. This is pretty. I like this page. I don't know why, but I do. This one has bicycles all over it. On the back side of that, oh, this is cool. Is a stamped out version. You see why I bought two of them, guys? <laughs> I didn't want to hoard it forever. Um, and then this has like um, signs you would see along the road as you traveled. Together is a great place to be. Enjoy the journey. Place, pack your bags. Family vacation. Our getaway. Time to fly. Escape route. Go. That's cute. And you get two of those 
On the back side of that is that a same print we saw earlier, but in a smaller form. So maybe like the suitcase is out of this one too. Yeah. Sorry. As I look through all this stuff with you guys, I just think of ideas of what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> and I kind of spit it out at you guys. Alrighty. I found two. Woo. Of... Wow, I'm really hitting this camera a lot. I am so sorry, guys. It's just the paper pads are so big. I got two of these kits type of things that come with stickers. This one on top is $2.99. I don't know why it's more than the one on the bottom, except for that this one seems to have foiling in it. Um, so we'll go over them one at a time. So this is the Holly Jolly by My Mind's Eye. And I will open this up. And we will take a peek. So here's the page with the foil. Look at the branding strip. It's got like Santa Claus cheeks. Cute. On the back it has Santa Claus. This also has foil on it. The stars are foiled. It says peace, cozy, merry, peace, cozy, Noel, comfort. Very cute branding strip. And Voila. These are cute. Look at the little bursts. I like. Oh, this has foil on it too. I wonder if every piece has foil. This is pretty. The back has red trees. These trees are cute. Their trunks are the part that is foiled. On the back side, you get a red stripe. Here's another chunky stripe with some gold foiling. On the back side, you get this fun polka dot green. Look at these cute Christmas houses. The houses have foiling on them. On the back, you have this nice red plaid. And then for the sticker sheet, this is what you get. So they're kind of like paper stickers. Um, they're a little thick. You get 40 of them, it says. They're very cute, match the collection very well. Look at the light bulbs. They're a little bit chunky. I like that. All right, so that was $2.99. And then the other one is by um, Dear Lizzie, and it was $1.99. And I was like, woohoo! Serendipity is the name of this collection. I'm wondering if this one doesn't come with stickers. Maybe that's why it's cheaper. But I thought these flowers were gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Nice and big and chunky. I'm thinking about fussy cutting them out. These are double sided. So on the back it has polka dots, which I love. This is very pretty as well. On the back of this one. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, I like that. This is pretty. On the back side of that is words. It says courage, fall in love with as many things as possible. Hello, darling. Then we have some triangles. It's kind of a what like a wash look. On the back we have this pink. It's kind of dark and then fades to light here and there. I like this one. The cameras. On the back you got a nice grid in the same color. There's a pink wash. Oh, and there's the cut aparts. So you get cut aparts with this, which is cool. Look at that ice cream. Cute, huh? Top five favorites, date, fall in love with as many things as possible. Be golden. And then it looks like it repeats itself. Yep, it repeats itself. So you get two of each, including the cut aparts. No stickers. So I think it was a good price for $1.99.
then I got a Maggie Holmes um, Sunny Days collection. There's six gold foiled pages in this one. You've probably seen this one. I bought a lot of things when they went on clearance at Joann's from this collection, but I didn't get the whole big 12 by 12 paper pad. It just had select pages. So here is the cut aparts. Um, there's a few gold splashes on here. I really like this. Oh, look how cute that is. Them on the beach. Alrighty, these are not double-sided, it seems. That's pretty. I really like that. And I love this. I know I already have this specific paper, but that's okay. Because I really like this paper. Such pretty flowers. I'm going to fussy cut this page if I have time. This has gold foil on it, so that's pretty. And these are by themselves, not touching each other. So that makes it like an easier type of fussy cutting thing. This is pretty. This is a frame around the whole page. Beautiful butterflies. Some fruit. I know I picked up this. These birds are in foil. Love that. I love this striped page. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> this is cute as well. You can leave it as is or cut it apart. The umbrellas might be fun to cut apart and be useful for sure. That might be cute to tuck into your photo. Kind of like we would tuck in flowers or tuck them in amongst the flowers. It's got like little butterflies. This is a pink. Looks like it has part of the next page on it because at the top there's already the branding strip. So that one wouldn't, wouldn't be a true 12 by 12. This is obviously gorgeous. So lovely. I like this one. This one has like checks on it. It's like green and pink amongst the navy blue. Polka dots, watermelons. You, me, you plus me is love is in foil. It's in gold foil and the rest of it is in black. Cute. All the little girls in the pool, the umbrellas. Here is another cut apart, if you can see the whole thing. I really do like this one. I don't know if it's because I like the beach so much and I have tons of beach pictures, but I do like this paper pad. Look on the sunny side, ready for take off. Let's get away, happy little moments, enjoy the ride. The beaches, well, some of the beaches have actually opened up at this point in time, but I know somebody who went to the beach and she said it was bumper to bumper people. You'd have been like, what? COVID? What's that? <laughs> she said it was insane. This is fun pattern. I love the way this looks. This rainbow one. There's trying Trying to keep the whole paper pad and frame is interesting to do when you have this giant 12 by 12. Some cameras in different colors. This is just like a border page and that's the end of that one. Moving on. I got one by Color Rush. 24 paper pad, 12 pattern papers. This is $6.99 by Webster Pages which I thought was really pretty. This one is double-sided. Just look at those clusters. Aren't they so pretty? Their branding strip, strip oh, can't talk, is on the bottom. And the back side has no branding strip. So technically your page is slightly longer than normal. Pretty, huh? It almost looks foiled, but it's not, guys. 
The back side is a polka dot in some neutral colors. Here we go, here is the cut aparts. Don't be pushed by your problems, be led by your dreams. Ralph, oh they have the, the people who um, did the sayings or whatever, that's cute. This is our happy place. Oh, the back is cut aparts too, oh no. That's not good, guys. <laughs> so, paint brushes, which are cool. Be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Follow your heart. Yeah, let your imagination fly. You're my favorite piece of art. Make today pretty. Celebrate each day. You do get two of each page. So, I guess you have can cut the cut aparts out one way and then the other way on the other page if you wanted to. Um, this one says today. On the back side of the today is a beautiful floral. Really pretty. Kind of has like a linen background. Then opposite that we have some more beautiful roses with some dots dotted background and shades of pink. On the back of that we have these gold dots. We have another fussy cut page, cut aparts. And on the back of that is a pattern. And get the next page apart. On the back of that. Alright, so the next page we have this sunset. On the back of the sunset we have a orange wash with kind of like um some diamonds. Then we have this fun pink stripe on the back of the pink. We have green stars. Next page, we have a field. On the back of that is this. We have another cut apart. Wow, there are lots of cut aparts in this. On the back side of this cut apart sheet is, they've repeated the whole cut aparts. So you have more. I'll turn it around so that you can see it better. I close my eyes and make a wish. Don't think outside the box. Think like there is no box. I can, therefore I am. Live today in all caps. Cute. And I keep hitting the camera. Oh, this is cool. This is kind of like a jersey knit bedding or something on the back of it is this wonky lines with some hearts on them then you get another cut apart wow there are tons of cut aparts in here it's kind of like you have your own ephemera pack these are tiny which is cool on the back of them is a pink And then that's it. So there's that one. Then I got Wildflower. So pretty. And this one, let's see, was $4.99. I don't know why. It's by American Crafts. I don't know why this one was cheaper. I don't know if it's, I just don't know. But I was happy that it was cheaper. <laughs> um, Voila, right there. Do I need another reason to buy the paper pad? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be double-sided. This is pretty. The branding strip at the top is cute too. It's those houses again. We already come across a cut apart sheet. Oh my gosh, there's so much on here. I love it. 
Love it, love it. We must take adventures to know where we truly belong. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. This whole paper pad is nice. So the stars. There's a wash in yellow. Um, oh, that's pretty. Look at those. Those are poppies. Very pretty. Then this red wash. Another floral sheet. This green sheet is beautiful. I love this. I guess you could fussy cut them out because they're really actually not touching each other. But I like it as it is. I hope we get two of each of these sheets. This is beautiful. Ooh, nice. This green wash. I like this. And this is smooth. It's not textured. Any of these papers. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. I hope there's two of these sheets. Ooh, look at this one. I like this one. I keep saying that about all the pages, don't I? <laughs> Isn't that fun? And it's got like tape marks down there. Very blue. Woo! Yellow. Oh wow, look at all the butterflies. Oh, they're very pretty. Very pretty indeed. To adventure is to find yourself. Some arrows. Pretty blue, greenish blue wash. Some more cut aparts. I like these a lot. Oh yay! And it all is doubled. <gasps> okay, I'm so, I'm so excited about that. Yay! <laughs> so this is why I bought this paper pad. And I couldn't believe it was four ninety nine. No, I didn't buy two of them. I restrained myself. <laughs> All right, here we have one that's $6.99 by Vicki Booten. I love all her colors. Gorgeous. This is a fun piece. Very nice. Turn. Oh, well look at this guys. What I didn't realize was they're double-sided. Oh, I like this one. It has almost like a very light, faint green backdrop in that one. And this one has these really gorgeous waves on the back. This one has polka dots. Here we have a cut-apart sheet. Love Beyond Words. Like that. Oh, but I really like the back of it too. Some circles on the back of the circles. This is fun green. These are pretty. Florals. Back of the florals, you get this fun burst of line. Some cameras. Back of the cameras, you get black words. It says say cheese. Look at these butterflies. Oh, with this color wash on here. On the back side of that is this. Then you get this fun wonky rainbow strip. On the back side of that is this dark blue. Oh, look at this page, guys. So this is fun. Isn't that fun? On the back of that is this polka dot. Then here's a bunch of leaves. Dude, you can sit there forever and fussy cut all these little leaves out for flower clusters. Or you can use it as a background. Just because they're oval, I feel like they'd be pretty easy to cut out. Maybe I'll be wrong. You've got tiny little words. I like the back of that. Also, we have these hearts, which are great. On the back of the hearts, we have a 
like a future print and then it repeats so in case the B sides were your favorite plus the A sides you get two in here next up I have the great outdoors 12 by 12 paper pad by Echo Park um, I think this was a Cartabella collection a long time ago I feel like um, the $6.99 but Echo Park seems to be get putting some things out that are old color Cartabella lines at Tuesday morning so not with the Cartabella cardstock thickness but what I would consider still a good a good thickness you know so here we go this one's pretty kind of like outside wildflowers you know vibin fish if you have anybody that likes to do any fishing in your life here is the adventure and then you could cut out whatever section of strip matches your vacation theme more wildflower type flowers this is pretty I like this it is very good paper I wasn't meaning to like down talk the paper I just know Cartabella is like really thick and like textured sometimes this is cute the lures oh I like this one too this is a fun outdoorsy paper pad oh they're lightning bugs I had to focus on it for a minute to figure out what they were <laughs> I've got some canoe pictures I'm definitely using this for some cut apart sheets Dad's famous fish fry. Camper campfire time is barbecue time. This is cute. Look at that one. These are cute. I really like these little animals in the trees. So adorable. And then it repeats. So you get two of each. Then I got this one by My Mind's Eye. It's the Cozy Christmas, $6.99. It's got 48 sheets in it, guys. Oh, and I missed a, a piece of it. So how are you guys doing? What's up with your lives? Has the COVID thing stopped you from being able to craft? Has it distracted you too much? Have you been crafting more? What has been going on with you guys? Here we have um, 24, uh, December 25th. And if you can't tell, they're glitter. All the red is glitter. Oh, you get two of them. Not double-sided. Oh, look at this. It's kind of like an, a pale aqua, I would say. Snowflakes. <gasps> Pretty. This is fun. Fun, fun, fun. I'm a sucker for Christmas stuff. I love Christmas stuff. Polka dots. This has glitter on it, red glitter. I don't know if you can see that on the flowers. And then it's got a text in the background. And they are both glittered. A pretty green polka dot. This plaid has uh, glitter stripes. you have a print as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly when they met the obstacle mount to the sky so up to the housetop courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and saint nicholas too okay i was just curious if it was actually like christmas related <laughs> There is also that text in the back with the cars. Ooh, I like this one. Another polka dot. These houses are cute. The trees are glitter. Can you see that? See how the tops of the trees have glitter on them? Very cute. Well, this is a fun red stripe. I like this one a lot. Here's a sweater stripe. Or a pattern, I guess I should say. 
Here's our red sheet. These presents have glitter on some of them. And it once again, it has the text in the background. There's a green stripe. This is cute with the wreaths all over it. Those are fun. Oh, then we got ones with trees all over them. They look like real little like fir trees. Cute. Oh, I like this one with all the ornaments. And then we got a plaid with text in the background and glitter. Another saying page. This is cute. So these have glitter around the edges of them. This glitter is not super prominent in, in your face either. It's, 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 it's a subtle. These are Christmas trees. These bows are all glitter. Oh, and that's the end of that paper pad. So that's the last of that one. Very cute. We'll make great like background layering pieces. Then I got a Jen Hatfield along the way, $6.99. You get 48 pieces of paper. And if you're buying like a lot of paper pads like this, it's best if you have like a friend or somebody to split them with because it can be overwhelming. Like if some of your paper pads are like your favorite or something and you know you're gonna use the doubles, otherwise share them with somebody so your stash doesn't get too overwhelmed. And look at those cute houses. Oh, I love those. I do have a few of these pieces of papers already. It was another collection I had picked up and Joanne's had put it on sale, but I hadn't didn't buy the paper pad. This is all foil. I just bought some of the individual sheets, so this was nice to get the paper pad to go with the sheets I already picked out. A black polka dot, but not like, see how this is black and this is like a faded black? Toned down, a washed out black? I don't know. Cut apart sheet. Oh, I like this one. So it's like polka dot, weird wonky polka dot sprinkles in foil. Here's the little girls. Some red flowers. A peach stripe. This is all gold foil. Very pretty. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. Celebrate. Thank you. More cut aparts. Really pretty blue polka dot. Really liking that. This is all foil. This is nice. This is fun. Oh, these are cute. Look, so they're recipes. I say look as if you're not already watching the video, right? <laughs> Silly me. Some birdies with gold foil on them. This is a pretty green background. I like this. More flowers. Some pink polka dots. Oh, wow. A yellow page with gold foiling on it. Flowers. Very nice. And then it repeats again. Yep, so you get doubles. Nice paper pad. Then by One Canoe, Two Canoe, um, Golden Rod. I just picked up some stuff from Joann's from this company, and I'm excited to show it to you. So this was $6.99. I think it matches this specific paper pad. Not positive. But it's got the same tone, so sometimes you can, with the same company, make, you know... New collections flow with the old ones, which is nice. Live in beauty. So there's a few gold foil accents on here. This is beautiful. These are not double-sided. This has a silver foil. Fun. 
This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it. This is also a beautiful gold foiled outline. So big, I don't know what I would use it for though. This is fun. Oh my gosh, the strawberries have foil on the seeds. So cute. This is pretty. Then you get the cut apart sheets. All right, so they did have this at Tuesday morning too in the bulk. Um, you know, sometimes you get like a bulk of the same paper. You can buy it for like, I don't know what they sell it for. I think it was like $2, $2.99 maybe. And you get like 24 sheets of the same thing and they're double sided. This was the one that Tuesday morning had. They had this one. And then I want to say it was... Um, Cottony Flowers was on the background, but this cut apart is the one that they have multiples of. All the words are in foil. There's a green wash. This is cute with silver. Very pretty. Again, a scenery page. Some words, uh, some words. Some swirls and foil, silver foil. Cute little sunglasses. Oh, this page is cool. So it's silver foiled. Very pretty. I like that one a lot. Popsicles. Gold foiling on here. Another scene, which is very pretty. I don't know if I like them so much because they're like watercolor scenes or what, but I really like them. This also has gold foil on it. And that was the same as the front. So yeah, I, I don't know what was the back side. I can't remember. Did we already see some of this? I don't remember seeing this one. Well, we did, it, I suppose. We already saw that, but I don't remember this one or that one or that one. So some of them are doubled and some of them are not. I think. Like there definitely wasn't pineapples on the other side. We did get this one. We did get that one. So there's a few in here that are not double. That one, that one, this one. This one's not doubled. So yeah. Anyways, love the paper pad. All right, we got another one. Work Hard, Play Hard by Echo Paper Park. $6.99, 24 single-sided papers. These so, are you know, for all your sports loving Fans, hubbies, kids, tons of cut aparts on this page. Wonderful. I like the the tones are a nice tone if you're wanting to do some grown up photo photos with um with this like game day for your that special man in your life. Oh, my little one has found me. Yes, dear. Um, I peed. Oh, my goodness. I On video. Not, okay. Can you go find daddy? Yeah. Okay. That would be my toddler. <laughs> and that was on Caribou. How fun. Well, I'm this far into the video. I'm not really doing it. You guys understand. Just mom life. <laughs> Let the games begin. The more difficult victory, the greater the happiness in winning. We're working so hard to potty train him. He's already been showered. He actually has a pull-up on, so. Because it's fixing to be bedtime. He was sitting down with his show to watch before bedtime. And while I was doing this, and apparently he had an accident. This is cool. These are more cut apart. And then you have this page, which is great. Some more cut aparts. Here's a nice green pattern. 
and it repeats again. So yeah, I thought it was a nice paper pad. It's, it's hard to get guy stuff sometimes, I feel like. Now this paper pad is definitely not new. Um, I've had this paper pad before. I bought it when it was in the stores, regularly priced, whatever. I think I used a coupon and I made a mini album out of this. Absolutely loved this paper pad. Um, I even used my scraps. I saved my scraps. I still have some of my scraps. Um, it was $6.99. I was no way I was not getting this paper pad. I am so excited. There's this awesome wood grain. You get two of each sheet. This has got like a holographic mermaid scales. Two of those. Here's your cut apart sheets. Aren't they delicious? Kick back and relax. Hello paradise is what this one says. Two of those. Now this sheet is fabric. Isn't that awesome? You get two of them. Here is the shells in like a salmon color, peachy color. There's this pattern. Here is the starfish. As you can see, this is the holographic foil as well. You get two of those. Here's starfish with none. They're cute as well. Some words. It says things like paddle boarding, soak up the sun, collect seashells, and the coloring on the wording, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but as a faint light goes in and out of pink and yellow. Super cute. There's this. Go barefoot. You can so cut this page up. There's just so much on here. Swim like a mermaid. No worries. Starfish. And it's a wood crane. Isn't that cool? Here's some coral. And this coral is holographic. This sheet is fabric. You get two of them. This sheet is holographic. I, it was like my first real attempt at a mini album too. So, you know, I made like tons of mistakes. So I think that's one reason why it's like super sentimental to me, this paper pad. <laughs> I mean, I've been scrapbooking bef way longer than that. Just not like mini albums, more like layouts. This is super pretty. Then you have this like beach page. Seashells. This is sand, but you can see like the ripple effects of like the water on top, like when you're looking through crystal clear water. Here's an entire wood grain background. You can even stamp out your own um, little sentiments or use it, you know, as a background or whatnot. All right, so that is that one. I actually have it here. I know this is a, a haul <laughs> and not a show and tell, but this is it. And I put fabric on the spine. I used another collection from Michael's to go with it. Um, but yeah, so that's the spine and then it opened up this way. See how the papers are? I have not put photos in here because I made the shakers. Wait, well, hold on. Let's open this side. Ah. I made like these shakers and they don't do so well. They kind of go everywhere. I have magnets. But see, I have to mat the inside piece. But I was getting so frustrated that the bits kept coming out. I didn't finish the album. I know I should go back to it, but that paper pad was so pretty that this is what I used it on. So, not that you guys want to see all that. You're here to see a haul. So we will get back to the haul, but yes, love that paper pad, and I'm glad I have another one. It's almost completed. It just needs to be matted in like maybe three spots, and then I can put pictures in. 
Then I got this Comic Heroes collection. Now that I have more experience, I think I'll go back. This was only $4.99 and finish it. I think I was just getting so frustrated for constantly making, like, now that I know it, newbie mistakes. That, yeah. If you guys have any idea how to make those shakers better, I have a, a fuse tool. Sometimes it seems to work. Sometimes it doesn't. I've been told to do it on glass. Maybe that's what I need to do. Look how fun this is. This would even coordinate with some of your, um, that Spider-Man paper. If you get to know with that. This is kind of thick cardstock. It is not double-sided. My little boy saw this, the one that was in here a minute ago, and he thought it was so fun and cool. He just kept flipping through the paper pad. This is red foil. We get two of the foil pieces as well. Polka dots. This has foil on it, kaboom. This is a ton of foil. This has foil on the this, this stripes. And the, the superhero man. This is a more of a plain. More stripes. You get two of all the foils, so that's good. Then this polka dot one has red foiling. This I think is cool. I have like a um I got this thing from Hobby Lobby and it looks kind of like this. I mean it's not circular but it's like this kind of style for our bar. It's a big picture so I thought that was cool. These are fun word speech bubbles. You could cut them out or you could use it as a page. Some more foil. You got the stars up there so we'll cut apart. Get two of those. This is fun. He was really liking this page. <laughs> Which is cool because when we first moved in, my older son was little to this house, and his bedroom had a Batman wall painted on it. So it would be cool to do photos of that from when he was little and his room was Batman. He is now 12 going on 13 and he is all into video games. But his little brother is starting to like Batman. I think boys go through phases and repeat them. Oh, that's a cute one with the green little stars. Yellowish green. I think they're green. So this was only $4.99. So even if it wasn't like my ultimate most favorite paper pad, it had useful stuff in it for boy patterns or anybody that liked superheroes, action figure stuff, whatnot. Um, so I thought that was fun and it has tons of foil in it. So there's fun with that too. All right, we're down to the last two paper pads and then I can show you the Project Life. $6.99, I got this Halloween one by Happy uh, My Mind's Eye called Happy Haunting. I love holiday stuff. Two sheets of everything. This has orange foil on it. Love this one. Like uh, the back of the cards. This one has a giant skull on it. Then we get this stripe. I like this stripe. I also like this plaid a lot. Spider webs, polka dots, a stripe. Then we have this one. This has gold foiling around the edge, and then some of the lettering has foil on it. These bats are cute. They have like polka dots in them. I really like those. Fun circles. The circles have foil around them, and the inside is like a kind of like a grid pattern. This is a good one for Halloween. These are also foiled. Some cutouts. Well, you don't have to cut them out. I guess it's a page. I thought of it as a cut apart. <laughs> it says happy haunting and this um, gold uh, orange glitter goes all the way around. These say ha happy haunting as well. It's little skeletons. And this is cute. It's got a banners with 
the little uh, spider. The spider says 32 on it or 39. I think it says 32. It's meant to look like old paper, you know. You get this in orange. Then you get it in the gray. Then you get this with the words subdued in the background. Another type of polka dot. And that's it. I do a lot of Halloween stuff, so this will be great. Especially if I have some really fun Halloween kits. These will be great as my layering pieces. Then I got this Jen Hatfield one called Patio Party. This was $6.99. has 36 papers. Some of them have gold foil. Here is the first cut apart sheet. Look at all that. It's a cute cake. We got some stripes. Once again, it's more of a faded black, not super bright. I love this paper. So the blue kind of washes out down towards the bottom with a gold honeycomb foil. Here's a grid. Here are some more cut aparts. These are all tags. Gold foil. This is cute. The lemons. This dark blue flowers. Gold foil. Cute little flamingos. Oh my gosh, look at these tulips. Aren't they adorable? A gold foil checkered pattern. Cube pattern. Pink flowers with polka dot leaves. Here's polka dots in gold. Oh, this is cute, kind of like dictionary. Here's a nice stripe. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the gold flowers. Polka dots. Oh, these are fun polka dots. These are also gold foiled. Strawberries. Some fun wonky shapes. Oh, look at the, okay, so they're very delicate on here, but the little dragonflies are gold foiled, even the little dots. So pretty. Some recipe cards. A large polka dot. Ooh, look at this. This is yummy. A wood grain. Oh, my camera's not in focus. There we go, wood grain. Watermelons. Then we have a bunch of words with gold on them. Some more cut aparts that you could turn into more recipe cards if you wanted quite easily. Pretty flower background. Another gold sheet. Some more pretty flowers. Some polka dots with some texture in them. And these are pretty butterflies. This is not um, doubled. You only get one of each sheet, but they're all gorgeous. Super pretty. So then for Project Life, I got two of these. I'm gonna show them to you and then I'll open them just in case you wanna be done with my video and go to sleep. <laughs> but those of you who would like to see the insides of these, stay tuned because I am gonna show that. These were both $3.99. They're Project Life Hissed by Becky Higgins. And this one is Sunkissed, and this one's Little You Boy. So I got those, and then I also picked up this big one. And this is the Prismatic Edition. I love this actual binder. I want to get this album. It's so pretty. But yes, that's that one. And then I also got this one. And this is the everyday edition. So that's the back of it. And the back of this one looks like this. All right, so I'm going to show you the insides of the little ones. First, need a sip of wine. Been talking quite a bit. <laughs> All right, let's do this bright, bold one. Sun kissed. 
It looks like it has quite a bit of ephemera pieces in it. Hmm. I actually don't have a Project Life album that I'm working on or that I do. I use my Project Life things that I pick up at Tuesday morning um, because they're such a good price. See, $3.99. <laughs> um, in my everyday scrapbooking or my or junk journals or whatever, I use them as like layering elements or embellishments. I would love to do a Project Life album. I just haven't done it. So here is one of the embellishments, and they seem to be chipboards. You get two of those. Cute little hat. Whoop. We have a camera. These little things that say date. These are cute. Life is beautiful. Stories of summer the hat and a date. So that's what we have there. I'm going to put them back in here so I don't lose them all over the place. It was such a pretty color. It made me think of summer. And I love summer. So that's why I got this kit. Plus I live in Florida, so I feel like summer stuff can happen like all the time. Oh, it looks like there's more underneath the big ones. So I'll go through the small cards real quick. It says hello. You get, let's see here, two of each in this pack. This is what's on the back. I love you more than ice cream. So cute. It says dude. <laughs> I love it. Well, this is good here. I like that. I was made for sunny days. A vacation to remember. Best day ever. Like a party bunting banner right now. It's a pretty blue. Sorry, my hands are a little dry. It's hard for me to get these. I've been using so much hand sanitizer lately. <laughs> oh, bless me. Oh, this is a cute backside. Time to relax. Hot air balloons. This is fun. You are one in a melon. We actually had watermelon yesterday. A big giant one. Made us feel like it was already summertime. And then I woke up today and it was 65 degrees this morning. I was like, oh, cold, cold. <laughs> For my Florida self, that was cold. Hello, sunshine. This is very cute. I like that. Keep calm and cherry on. So cute. So that was the first batch of them. Oh my, there is tons of shipboard pieces. Okay, let's go through the card. It's a perfect day. On the back side, you get these cute, oh, not exactly rainbows, but they're very pretty. I like them. The good life, pineapples, oh happy days. Ooh, that's pretty. They make it easy to layer your photos with these, in my opinion. Like this, you can mat your um, journaling spot, you know, or you, or it could be the journaling spot, literally. And then the bigger ones you can mat your photos with and stuff. Look at the little crab. Isn't it cute? This is cute. The little things. See, I don't know if this would be a good example, but... You can kind of layer them, you know, on your page. I don't know. The best summer ever. Oh, the cell belt's cute. Reminds me of tubby time for my boys. I love these colors. I'm just having so much fun with this color palette. It's so bright and vibrant and happy. Alrighty. So what chipboard pieces do we get in here? A strawberry, a heart, a pineapple, soak up the sun, a pinwheel, lazy days, another heart. I love this. 
cute little bunting banner flowers where the sun shines and a bike so those are cute and remember there is more chipboard pieces underneath the the large cards so it's like perfect all right so here's our cards love this one what I love about today oh this is cute look at the cactuses <gasps> adorable so it says life is better in flip-flops life is a beautiful ride on the back fun fruit more fruit on the back has a cute little typewriter our thrilling adventure oh I love this pattern Road trip. Sensational. Today, look at the bright side. Oh, look at the pineapples. It's a perfect day. And red. Stories of summer. It's a splashing good time. That's cute. Look at the little mason jars. Oh, I like the tickets. Admit one, fabulous, fantastic, and fun. Those are cute. Could even fussy cut them out. Pucker up. Okay, so what? I picked up one too many cards then. Enjoy every moment. Slip and sliding. Stay cool. Caught on camera. Smile and make your own sunshine. There's pink. Fun in the sun. Oh, the balloons, slice of life, sun-kissed, a bucket full of memories, enjoy, love, love lives under the sun, and that's very pretty, I like that. So those are the cards, and what do we get for our next box, our bag of chipboard pieces? Let's see here. This came with so many goodies. I feel like it'll be easy to do a page with this. Several pages. So much fun. Stay cool. Sun kissed. And you can add your own wording there. Carefree. Awesome day. Just like a, a cl cloud, I want to say, but I don't know. Typewriter, hot, there is a plant, happy days, another one of these, beat the heat, these are like cool, these circling ones, sweet summertime, so that is awesome, and all of that was only $3.99, so I think that's a score. Especially with how many chipboard pieces were in here. Alrighty, that was that summer one. Here is the little you, the boy themed one. Believe it or not, I have not scrapbooked my boys' baby album. Either one of them. And yes, my older son is 12. <laughs> His sisters, them I have done like some types of baby albums for, but all right, let's do the ephemera pack on this one first. This one feels like cardstock, 
not chipboard. Wow, there's a lot in here. Ooh. All right, we got some blocks with some letters and numbers and some blue foil on the B. On the day you were born, angels clapped their hands and the moon danced with the stars. And it's in some blue foil. There's a little mountain, a stork. Moments. More blue foil. Love and cherish, it's like a ticket. The day you were born. Baby boy, it's a pretty font. There's a little fox with foil. Some, just a foil circle with a fun pattern, pretty pattern. A little toy, a lion, a fox. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. It's edged in blue foil. Here's some like wood slices. Let them be little. Love you. Tiny little you. It's a banner. This is blue foil on it. Blue foil. A sheep. Hello, my name is Love with some foil. A little little boy. Eat, sleep, and repeat. You have my heart. The zebra is cute. I love you this much. And then there's this frame with little stars on it, which is actually cute. So there is that. Oh, and there's one that was in there. There's a two with foil on it. All right. I am not going to try and fit those back in that bag. <laughs> so let's see here. Cute little boy. Okay, so like the stitching is in foil. Can you see that? I think you can. The back is blank. Oh, the backs are blank. Tiny little you. Interesting. Just like dad, you get two of them, but the blacks are blank. My wish for you. I will love you forever. I keep thinking maybe one of them will have a thing. Love you. I will forever and always be your, by your side. Very cute. Um, the cutest. Yeah, these don't have. Oh, this is cute. That's cute too. There's quite a few of them with foil. Maybe all of them. Just some have more foil than others. This is a cute one. Date, weight, height, your mood today you could do that it doesn't even have to be on their birth it could just be like nine months old you happen to remember their baby album again <laughs> you actually wrote down something <laughs> so we get another goodie pack yay I'm loving this love all the cut aparts i would have paid 3.99 just for cut apart is there more in here no darn Oh my gosh, there's little safety clips, safety pins, <laughs> and they're foiled at the top. A zebra. Full of happiness and joy. Most precious gift, so sweet. There's a little ruler. Love. Um, month one, it says. Cute. Weight and length is what they say. Sweet dreams. It's a boy. That one's kind of cute. 
all through the night. Our little star, sweet little one of mine. Here's a wooden camera. Special delivery, a stork. Never grow up. That's cute. So, I think you get it. Oh my god, look at that. Fun. A bunch of fun uh, ephemera pieces. With this collection. And I have to put these all in a different baggie. To put them with this. Alright, let's go through the big cards. My sweet baby boy. Foiled. Nothing on the back. Eat, sleep, repeat. You are our... Greatest Adventure. Wow, that's whew, all foil, guys. All foil. You can maybe use this to punch out some stuff with your punches. To make some more of your own ephemera pieces, if you need any more. I mean, there's a ton of ephemera pieces there. Oh, look at that. That's cute. I bought a paper collection from Hobby Lobby that I think will match this perfectly. I bought it a while ago. Oh, that one. I like that one. Baby. Alrighty, so there are the big pieces. Moving on. If you're still with me, guys, God bless you. <laughs> I have no idea because I cannot see that part of my camera how long this video is ending up being. So I apologize, but... I've gone through a lot of stuff. I'm not going to redo it. I'm not good at figuring out how to edit yet. So what you see is what you're going to get. So these, there should be like four of a piece. And let's see here. This week. And then it has a different direction. Wood green. There's the little thing from Becky Higgins about this edition. The everyday edition. So that's fun. So you get two of those. Hello. So they're just different. And so you can do them landscape or portrait. And then see, um, let me see if I can find another photo. I, I use this all the time in non project life papers. So let's see here. This is just a crazy photo, but just so you have an idea of why I'm buying these when, you know, I don't have a Project Life album. But see how it borders it nicely for you? You can even round the corners, and it works out great. And then mat it on your stuff, you know, with your mixed media in the background or patterned paper or whatever you're going to mat it with. Yes, this picture is crazy. This is me and my sister playing on Snapchat, <laughs> where it, like, alters your faces. And then this is nice. It's a peachy. I like little crosses. I'm like a must a deep mustard with a light pink. It says weak on it. Got some scripty ones. So that's cool. It'll be easier layering. This red, like, this would even go well. Like, so it goes great with the, with what's going on. It's all the red. I don't know if I would put two of them. Maybe not two of them. I don't know. See, now my brain's trying to scrapbook. <laughs> my brain goes wild as I see the stuff. I start thinking of all the stuff to do with it. But this is really pretty and subtle. I like that. These dots are awesome. 
you can get them like this as well. Let, um, alphabet. I like that. This one says noted. It's cute. It's so cute. I gotta go through these faster for you guys. Oh, I like this one. These are like some very nice, they're not basic, but more neutral things for me to use for layering and stuff. Since that is what I'm doing with it. Today. The gray stripe. That's cool, the toss on that one. The heart's cute. You could even punch that out. The big circle punch or something. Happy place. Oh, the back's different. Happiness captured. This one says photographs. Not going to go through all of them. I think that was only two I missed, so. That's cute. That would be a good journaling thing. I really like that one. Wood green. Grid. Do that every day. This is cute. Memories. I like that. There's so many, so it doesn't bother me to chop them up, cut them up, layer them behind stuff. Especially the black and white ones are so easy to layer behind things. Now we're getting to some gold foil. Adventure awaits. This week. Oh, what, what a year. Photograph. Those are all nothing on the back. Alright, so by showing you the big cards, I think you get the gist of what's in here. I am not going to go through each one of these. It makes the video way too long. But I will open the next pack and show you the large ones as well. Ooh, that was not a fun noise. <clears throat> Here we go. Take this off for $4.99. You can't beat it. Even if you only used half of this ever. This was only five bucks. I mean, there's no waste. Another sip of wine. And this is cold foil, by the way. So what do we have here? This is super pretty. So pretty. Totally adorable. Our note from Becky Higgins about this collection. I should just be sticking them back in, right, as I do this. Ta-da! That's a fun pattern and color. I like that. Oh, that's blue. Liking it. If you're still here at this point, you are in it for the long haul, and you are awesome and amazing. <laughs> Thank you for watching this. Some people don't like details about what I 
um, purchase, uh, but I found out uh, quite a few people appreciate that me opening and showing what's in the boxes, not just showing the boxes. Hello there. I mean, we can see the boxes in the stores. You can't see through the details of everything, but since I'm purchasing it, I can show you that. So I like to. Plus I get to go through it and look at it all with you guys. Which is fun, because I tell you what, my man does not think that's fun. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I see. You spent more money on paper. <laughs> oh, He's good to me, though. He doesn't get too, too upset, generally, about me um, playing with all my papers and things and buying them. Which is amazing of him. This is cute and pretty. <gasps> That's so cool. I like the blue wood green. Yeah, I might have to hoard that. <laughs> I should make like a box on my desk. Not like a box box, but like a shallow, shallow basket of like super, super awesome favorite things. Like that wood, blue wood green. Like this is super cool too. But like the most like things that are, I find super awesome, just toss them in there. And see what inspiration they bring me when I'm crafting or so that I can use them because I would have to go through all of these again to find it not that I don't mind going through these and picking things out just maybe that particular one I don't know maybe make it my super awesome box to grab from I like this and I guess I'm just rambling So by going through these, at least you have an idea of what the rest of the pack will look like, even if I don't, you know, show you all of the cards. This should give you a good idea of what's in here. Here's more of that blue wood green. This is fun. I like this. Nope, I like it on this side. A map. Uh, Australia. Is the portion that's on the map. It's pretty that way, isn't it? Sweet. That's what it makes me think of. I like this. Very pretty. Some of this could coordinate with that baby collection too. This is cute. I like this. This is fun and different. I like this one. It's really reminding me somewhat of a like a beachy vibe and a boy vibe. It's all good. Also, it's one of the suggested ones, so you only get one of it. So the rest of these must be just one. Hashtag shine. The end. Let's do this. Hilarious. A giant hello. Note to self. Prepare to be amazed. And so it begins. Should be like a picture of my taller next to that. <laughs> this is cool. I like that. And I like that one. So yeah. So if that gives you a taste of what's in this pack, I hope. But yeah. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you have a fabulous shopping experience. I know I do and always do. Um, yeah. Have a great day, guys. Bye.